Hey guys, uh, Trail and Summit. My name is Bo Reby. This is my 2019 Ram Pro Master 2500. Um, I went with the 158 wheelbase and the high roof, so I can stand up in it. It's ju I'm like five foot ten, and it's just over the top of my head. Uh, we insulated everything with the Havelock sheep wool insulation. It's about two inches, so it's in the ceilings and the walls, and then in the floor we have a foam. Uh, like foam board insulation. Uh, we tried to use as little of the foam board insulation as possible. It's you know not super sustainable, not great on the environment, but it makes a good flooring because it's really uh, firm. But then we use the sheep wool everywhere else because who doesn't love sheep? Um, in terms of like functionality and features, so we've got just kind of you know standard floor, normal vinyl plank floor. That's what most people who will, will use. Up here we have a little shoe cubby that my partner Riley so diligently designed and that's our front lawn, just in case we're somewhere without an actual front lawn. Um, but yeah, it's nice for storing shoes under there. Uh, before we get up here, maybe we'll just take a look at our little pop-out table. Super easy, nifty, folds away. Um, we decided to go with like more of an open floor plan so we have all these bench seats and whatnot so people can hang out inside. It was important for us because we don't live in it but we do have friends hang out with us frequently. So we made these cushions, they fold up, they move, we can move them in and out if necessary. But all these benches um, have storage underneath. This one is a, an emergency toilet, if necessary. You can sit there and you can poo with a view. Um, so emergency toilet, <laughs> haven't had to use it too many times, but if you need it, it's there, it's good to have. On this side, I'll show you under this bench. Just have to move these cables. This guy folds up. And then we've got storage under here. Empty right now because we're just out for the day biking. But yeah, lots of storage under there, which is nice. And then that folds back over. Um, you can see, like, not everything's finished. You know, we still have some exposed wall. Oops. But that's part of the van, is. <laughs> There's always more stuff to do. Um, up here we added this little storage thing which I like. It's just super easy to throw like packs of gum or bug spray or whatever, whatever you got, little trinkets up there. Um, and then we can move to this side, which is our beautiful, very happy with this piece of black walnut, the slab of walnut we got. And then we finished it. So we sanded it all down, we clear coated it. We epoxied the front as well to try and keep that bark on there. So a really nice live edge slab. And then like it was heartbreaking cutting this hole in here for the sink, but you needed a sink <laughs> and so we did it. Uh, we kept it small. You know, we don't have a ton of water, but I'll show you what we got under here. We have six gallons of fresh water and then a six gallon gray water tank and it's all run off this foot pump. So you can just turn the faucet on, pump the water Comes out a nice, easy, slow stream. Nothing crazy, but again, we're not living in it. We don't need a ton of water at all times. And personally, I hate the noise of electric pumps. I lived in an RV for a long time and just that like is just terrible. So there's that. We've also got storage. These are all cabinets or just drawers. They pull out for whatever is needed. Under here, we've got more stuff, food pots and pans, whatever you need. And then we've got a little fridge right here. Um, here's our little camp stove. That's what we use, just a super easy camp stove. Uh, and it's worked great so far. Um, if we look up here, we've got all these cabinets, so storage for food, whatever. These hinges are great, they're super easy. They were like three bucks at Lowe's, and we pretty much bought out the entire store of them. <laughs> but they hold it up, they keep it closed, do everything I need to do. Couple of things over in this area. So this storage bay is split up into two. We've got our top section, and then this bottom section slides out. The reason for that is that it uh, just allows you to not have to like stack everything in there, and then when, if you need something at the bottom, you're not just rifling through everything on top. So it makes it a bit easier to have it slide out there. Over here, um, we've got a nice little tuck away table that pulls in and out big enough it slides like way out here someday I'm gonna put a leg on it so if we have a bunch of people in here we can slide it way out here but it gets kind of flimsy when it gets out there but it's easy enough for the two of us it's nice and sturdy right here 
eating some food. And then we'll show you what this little thing is for. It's just, it may look like a step, but it actually is so we can put skis in the back. Because the skis, if we put them in forward and back, they, they're too long. So we needed to create this little like opening. But if you don't have skis, you can put that back in there. You can use it as a step, anything like that. Works pretty well. So for power, I've got two solar panels on top. They're each 160 watts, so it's 320 watts total of solar. Those two solar panels, along with the vehicle alternator, are connected to the battery. So I have 200 amp hour batteries back here. So combined, that's 200 amp hours of battery, charged by either the solar or the vehicle if I'm driving. Um, and then those two batteries are a 12 volt, basic 12 volt batteries. Uh, they work great so far, I haven't had any issues with them. Um, and they power things like the lights, which are all on dimmer switches, which is nice. So we've got lights, uh, they power the USB cables, they power the fridge, they power this little cigarette lighter, they power the fan in the back here. Uh, so the 12 volt really powers like a lot of things. Now I have these normal how, uh, house outlets, wall outlets that you'd see. However, they're just for show right now. I don't actually have an inverter at the moment because it's just more money and you know, I was I figured we would try it on 12 volt and upgrade to an inverter if needed. And thus far we haven't actually needed it. Like we power everything that we need to just off of either the cigarette lighter, this little socket. We can charge computers. They make adapters so we can charge a computer with that or standard USB charges like phones and GoPros and cameras and whatever else is needed. So, so far 12 volt has been everything we've needed and that's really nice because buying an inverter and it's just more complicated and more money. And sometimes you get to the end of it and you're like, all right, I'm done. This is it. Like my partner, Riley, she is, we found all this great reclaimed wood. Uh, when we built the van, we were in Florida. All right, so it's all reclaimed, just different types of wood, different planks, different panels. And she really went all out and made these like beautiful uh, walls. These beautiful, this beautiful artwork. Same with the artwork back here behind us. All this, here I can turn the light on. But yeah, all this nice paneling. She designed all that. And then we got this piece of walnut at the same reclaimed wood store. The fan we have, it's a Max Air fan. Um, it's electric, it runs off the batteries. It has both capabilities of pushing down in or sucking air out. It has a bunch of different speeds. So far, we've really liked it. It's done a really great job. The fan combined with the window that we have on the pass on the sliding door, if we just crack that window and turn the fan on, we can really get some good ventilation. Uh, and then we've had no issues. Like the nice thing about this fan, the Max Air one, is that it has a rain cover. So even if it's raining, no matter what the weather is outside, you can have the fan open, which I really like getting fresh air. I don't like being clustered, like stuffy inside. So I really like having the fan open, pretty much running at all times, um, at least on low, if we're if we're using the van frequently. So I like that fan a lot. Uh, it was scary to put in. You know, cutting a big hole in the roof of your van is scary, but it worked. And so far, it hasn't leaked on us in bed. We went for right over the bed rather than over the kitchen area. Um, because to me it's more important that we get ventilation while we're sleeping. We do a lot of our cooking outside anyway, so it's pretty pretty simple. All right, this is our garage area. Uh, we do a lot of sports. Uh, we mountain bike, we ski all winter. We also, are, our main thing is paragliding, speed flying, skydiving. Uh, we kiteboard all the time. So we really needed a big garage which is part of the reason why we don't have like big water tanks back here or a ton of area dedicated to electricity or big shelving compartments. We wanted uh, just a big open space for the various different, or the variety of different gear that we have. So this is our garage. We have, you'll see this big net, or this big, uh, it's just a blackout curtain really. This is m my solution to in the winter time if you're like opening the door and it's snowing without getting snow in the bed. So I just built, I just finished this the other day. It just snaps, super easy. I'll take it off. But I figured it would keep the snow out of the bed. So that's an easy way to like protect the bed area and still access the garage. But the garage is sweet. We've got it all on a big slider. So these are like heavy duty 500 pound sliders. Comes out 48 inches. Throw our bikes up here, we've got these nice fork mounts, so we just take the front the front wheel off our bikes. We can fit them both side by side. 
and they just barely fit all the way to the to the front of the bed or the back of the bed. But like I said, the skis don't fit. The skis are quite a bit longer. So we have that little shoe cubby or that ski cubby where we can slide it out, stick our skis in there uh, as necessary. Um, other than that, back here, we've got uh, these little dowels. If you look underneath, we've got these dowels here and those are for hanging stuff. So like, for example, skydiving, um, you wear the skydiving rig and we have these little hangers where if we're not using the rig, you put the rig on the hanger and you can just clip it here and like kind of keep it tucked away back there and keep the space down below it open. So all in all, like the garage has been great so far. I'm always surprised at how much we can fit back here. We just did a big trip out to Utah and we brought skydiving gear, paragliding gear, uh, camping gear, and I was like, I don't know if we can fit the bikes, Riley. And she's like, well, let's just try it. And it fit with plenty of space. Paddle boards as well. And yeah, plenty of space, no issues. So this garage is, is one of my favorite pieces. Up here is the little bedside table, which works perfectly when I'm laying in bed. And it's conveniently the size of a pine class. So I can, you know, have a beer in bed. Put it right there, I don't have to worry about it spilling. So we were laying in bed after we like first built the bed, we were just chilling in here and we were watching a movie and we had our, the movie, we had the computer up here, but obviously if we're out for a while, there's gonna be clothes up here. So you can't have a computer there. So I made this little table that is, <laughs> I like it a lot, it's just so easy. It's just a little table that slides in and out. Put the computer right there, watch a movie on it, super easy, and then it just tucks away and, you just clip it there so it doesn't slide around when you're driving. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in to Trail and Summit, checking out my van. I'm not the best at tours, but hopefully you liked what you saw. I've loved it so far. So if you're considering it, definitely uh, it's an endeavor, but it's really cool. Cheers.